In this tutorial, we cover four navigation operations. Zoom, Fit, Pan, and Spin. Any one of these navigation operations can be executed using any one of three methods. The first navigation method uses a multi-button mouse combined with a keyboard. The second method relies on a one-button mouse and the window tools located within the bottom left corner of the Form Z window. And the third method uses a 3D connection spaceball. In the first segment of this tutorial, we cover how to zoom, fit, pan, and spin using the keyboard and a mouse that has two buttons and a scroll wheel. The first operation is zoom, which enlarges, zooms in, or shrinks, zooms out, the image of a scene. To zoom, Move the cursor to the desired location and roll the scroll wheel forward and backward. Notice how the view moves in and out at the cursor location. An additional option of magnification within a scene is the fit operation. It allows you to fit every object in your scene so that it fills your Form Z project window. To execute a fit, press twice on the scroll wheel. The view is zoomed and centered to include all objects in the scene. We shall next apply a pan operation, which allows you to move the entire scene in any direction. To pan, press the scroll wheel and drag the mouse. The scene pans in the direction of the mouse. The fourth and final navigation operation of Form Z is spin. It allows you to rotate around the scene. To spin, hold down the Option key on Macintosh or the Control and Shift keys on Windows while holding down the right button. Move the mouse and the view spins around the center of the scene. Drag the mouse left and right to spin the view around the perpendicular axis. Drag the mouse forward and backward to tilt the view around the north and south poles. If you wish to save a particular view of your object while navigating within the scene, locate the views palette in the lower right corner of the Form Z window. Simply clicking on any of the empty lines in the palette will save your view. Here, we have named our new view, Top View. Please see section 3.2.6, Direct View Navigation in the manual, for additional navigation features available using a multi-button mouse and the keyboard. Next, we shall cover the same navigation methods using the window tools in the lower left corner of the window and a one-button mouse. Note if you have a multi-button mouse that the single button of a single-button mouse is equivalent to the left button of a multi-button mouse. As in the previous segment, we begin by discussing zoom. This time, select the zoom tool located in the seventh palette of the window tools. Move the cursor to the desired location and click the mouse. Each click of the mouse causes the view to move in at the cursor location. Observe that when the zoom tool is selected, all the modeling tools become ghosted and inactive. This is called a continuous mode that allows you to continue executing the zoom operation as many times as desired without having to select the zoom tool again. Actually selecting the zoom tool again or the escape key gets you out of the zoom mode. Note that the continuous mode is a default option that is set in the preferences dialog under the project general section. Deselecting the continuous mode results in a discrete mode under which the modeling tools are not ghosted and for each application of zoom you need to select the zoom icon again. This applies to all the navigation tools. To zoom out, hold the option key on Macintosh or the control and shift keys on Windows and click the mouse. Observe that the cursor changes from a plus sign to a minus sign. The fit feature behaves identically when using the one button mouse and window tool. Select the fit tool also located in the seventh row of the window tools and no other action is necessary. The view is zoomed and centered to include all objects in the scene. To pan, which is to move the entire scene in any direction, select the hand tool located in the same palette as our other two tools. Hold the mouse and drag anywhere in the modeling window. The scene pans in the direction of the mouse. Release the mouse and the panning stops. Again, while under continuous mode, you can execute additional pans without having to select the hand tool again. To exit the pan tool, hit the escape key or click any ghosted window tool. To spin around the scene, 
select the Set View tool located in the 8th palette of the Window Tools. Click on the mouse anywhere in the modeling window and drag left and right to spin the view around the perpendicular axis. Drag the mouse up and down to tilt the view around the north and south poles. Click a second time to end the spinning. If you are in continuous mode, note that the Set View tool is still active and the modeling tools are still ghosted. To exit the Set View mode, click on any ghosted window tool or hit the Escape key. Double click any zoom tool to invoke the Zoom Options dialog. You can change any default setting for the zoom tool if desired. Shift click on any zoom tool to invoke the Form Z Users Manual for that particular tool. Please see Section 2.2.7 Zooming and Panning and Section 2.2.8 Viewing in the manual for additional navigation features using the Zoom and View tools. Another tool for navigation is the 3D Connections Baseball. Move the puck forward and backward to zoom in and zoom out. Twist the puck clockwise or counterclockwise to spin the view. Move the puck left, right, up, or down to pan. A great advantage of the space ball is that you can navigate while simultaneously using the mouse to model. To use your space ball in Form Z, simply plug the device into your USB port. Form Z comes with a number of plugins already installed, among them is 3D Connection. However, these plugins require activation, which is accomplished in the Extensions pull down menu. Select Extensions Manager from the Extensions pull down menu, and this invokes the Extensions Manager dialog. Turn the 3D Connection plugin extension on in the Extensions Manager dialog, then relaunch Form Z. In Form Z, a 3D connection palette is available to control your settings for the spaceball. For more information, see the 3D connection website at www.3dconnection.com. This concludes the navigation tools tutorial.